So, I just got back from the movie, the movie, and I realized that, that I never filmed an intro. <laughs> this is how you know I've been out of the game for a while, yeah? So, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a long time, I know, I know, but I wanted to film a gay get ready with me to see the Barbie movie, which I just saw. <laughs> so this is like, it's interesting, but what can you do? Yeah, it's all, that's just the, um, that is just uh, the YouTube life, right? Yeah, but um, yes, welcome back to my channel. I'm filming a get ready with me. This is the makeup that I did. I hope you dig it. I had to powder myself a little bit because I was getting a little bit shiny. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually, this might still be shiny right here. But anyways, this is the makeup that I did. I'm going to be using the Pure Cosmetics Barbie Collab Collection, which came out 2019, 2020, something like that. Um, but yes, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get right into the makeup part. <laughs> hair out of my face because it irks me I've seen I've seen videos of like I've seen videos of girls who do their makeup with like their hair down and I don't know how they do it because it bugs me it's like it, it cheers me out like I can't have anything in my face so let's prep the skin yeah I'm gonna go in first with the first aid beauty coconut skin smoothing primer one because I have dry skin granted it is summer and i'm a sweaty bear like i'm already sweating but uh, still i like to keep my face moisturized so i'm gonna put that everywhere right and then i'm gonna grab a little bit of the cover effects blurring primer and i'm gonna put that in the middle ooh, in the middle of my face because I just like the way that it I just like what it does <laughs> blurs I would like the way it blurs I like the way it like it just fills in my I feel like I have a lot of lines here I don't know if you can see it but I see it that's what I know so let me just go ahead and do that so okay it's been a while so you gotta, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, okay? So just bear with me, yeah? I am going to do my brows first. Here it is. This is my, <gasps> almost dropped this thing. This is my Holy Grail pencil. Pencil, no, get it together. This is my Holy Grail eyebrow brush. It's so old, you can't see anything on it. I've had this for, ooh, years. I'm trying to know I'm trying to figure out if it's been a 10 year mark I, it's been a long time like you can't see I think it's number 17 13 one of the teens Anastasia Beverly Hills the eyebrow stuff that I've been using lately is the benefit palmade <laughs> this is how you know it's been a long time benefit palmade brow pomade is what I've been using um, so funny story. Um, I went to go do my eyebrows yes I to get my eyebrows waxed and I'm just gonna grab a little bit on there. Um, I went to get my brows waxed yesterday and the wax lady was like, oh my god she's like, girl you had to come and I'm like um that's a bit much but yeah I think it was like I think it's been like a month. And I'm trying to find a spoolie here on the side. Can't find one. So I'm going to grab a disposable one. Um, yeah, she was just like, oh my god, you have so much hair. And I'm like, yeah, why I'm here. I was like, Jesus, lady, you got to, old, you know, like, I know, I know. It's been a long time. So I'm just brushing my hairs up, making sure they are where they have to be. Yeah, so here we go I can't I'm telling you it's been it's been a long time I gotta get back into the groove with it but yeah so anyway so she was doing my brows so 
she was doing my brows and then she decides to show me <laughs> like like how much like so here's the thing my brow hairs grow even like on my lid like literally this whole thing right and it, it's been i think it was like a month that i went without going and um yeah so then she's like showing me the 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 paper when she pulled it off and i'm like ah, yeah hilarious let's just uh let's just keep poking fun at my poor eyebrows I'm like all right lady take a chill pill so i just you know i'm just gonna ramble so i don't know why i get like i get a reaction right when i and i was gonna try to do my brows in the beginning of the week to avoid getting all these bumpies before i filmed this like so it didn't come up on whatever but time management is not my forte anyway so i ended up doing it yesterday so i get like these little bumpy bumps here and i don't know if it's that i'm allergic to the wax because at first um i they you they do your brows then they put like baby oil or whatever the fuck oil it is that they put and i would like get more bumps like it was like itchy 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 bumpy stuff so um i started telling them like no oil and that helps the situation but it's still like it's still there can you can you see i don't know if you can see but it's there um so yeah so i don't know if it's if it's a thing to if it's like a reaction to the wax if it's a reaction to what the fuck but it's um definitely a reaction but yeah um and i've tried to i go to like the nail place right like when i where i get my nails done and it's like eight bucks so it's cost effective now if you were to go to like like a fancy wax place they're like 22 dollars bro for your eyebrows and i just cannot i cannot pay that i cannot like i'm sure i don't know i gotta try and do them one time to see if i get the same reaction but it's just i cannot bring myself to pay 22 dollars to get my brows done you know it's just it's just like a lot like eight dollars is just way better oh i started a podcast well me and my best friend we have a podcast blunt wisdom if you want to go and subscribe um and follow on ig um yeah so it's me and my best friend and we just talk about all kinds of things right now you know what what concealer am i gonna use because i've been out in the sun and i am darker than usual so i wonder well what else i just i want to use this this is the huda beauty concealer is that what it's called huda beauty the overachiever concealer i want to use this one because it's a really good concealer yeah this concealer is good it's very um i like the way it packs on so it might be just a shade or two off <laughs> full warning now yeah Ooh, actually not terrible and i'm just going to put holy shit is it an overachiever um okay let's uh hold on let me fix my life here yeah uh i want to press it in because that helps it be more coverage that was a weird sentence it just it if you start like blending it i feel like it um it lessens the coverage if that makes any sense but packing it on works out really well because it just i don't know i just really dig the coverage when you pack it on clearly i'm not that articulate today so the palette the collection that we're going to be using today is one that i got a long time ago i forgot when it came out let me see if i can google it real quick oh in 2020 so i never used it because it's just like it's so pretty look at this it's just so pretty i didn't want to damage it i didn't i wanted it to stay in mint condition i mean i took it out of the packaging because i put it on display here right um but i never touched it 
See the, like, the little foil thing is still in here. Oh my god. Alright, so let me try and show you these colors without completely blinding you with this mirror thing. But this is... This is it for okay. Let's talk about this real quick. This palette has a full mirror. This whole side inside is a mirror. It's a very good size mirror. I hate when you get palettes and they have like a little strippy mirror or it's just like a small mirror. It just is whack. Um, so these are the colors, right? You got your perps, you got your pinks, you got your blues, you got your browns, you got your golden. This shimmery one is very cool. It gives me like, it's just like, it's just so cute. This one right here this little one right here um colors i don't know i didn't uh, keep <laughs> i didn't keep the insert so um if i find the colors i'll put them somewhere i'll put it in, in the thing here but um but yeah this collection i got i got the palette i got the spray if you can see it here let me see move out the way i got this setting spray here where i got the setting spray i got the lipsticks that's just a little starbucks cup that i put there because it's pink and it kind of just goes um i got that uh, what else did i get i got the lashes that i did use those i did use um a couple of times let me see if i still have them these are the lashes i've used these already um they're so pretty i'm not using lashes today because one i haven't put on lashes in I don't even know when it's such a hassle i don't want to do it right now i'm already it's just gonna be too much so i don't even want to bother with that right now i'm gonna grab a big i'm gonna grab a big fluffy blending brush and i'm just gonna grab this transitiony shade right here this one right here this right there right there, right there. yeah hopefully you saw that um oh god talk about jesus oh god that was a lot of fall out i even forgot the terminology for fuck's sake all right so let me put this down here somewhere let me try here and we're just gonna i'm gonna put that all right this is what's gonna bug me the only thing i don't like about using concealer as a primer is that it's mad sticky right so i'm going to press this in here first um on my creasy crease and then i'm going to blend it all out oh yeah i'm not digging this um yeah so the podcast the podcast has been going really well we started it back in 20 i think it was 2019 actually we we were doing um audio only episodes because she was living in atlanta at the time and I live here in New York so um, it was you know couldn't do visual so we were doing um, audio only and then she moved back to New York and um, we decided to start it back up like we took a break and then we started to st we started it back up and we ended up um, working with um, we are working with 40 Central Podcast. I'll link them down below. Really cool guys. They stream every Thursday. You gotta check them out. They're awesome. And it's been going really well. The the feedback that we got, the um, the support that we got. You know, not just from 40 Central. Like those guys are awesome. They really support. I'm just like nah. I don't know. I'm not digging this, bro they really support me and jeep um and i can't thank them enough for that so i'm gonna put this this pinkish one oh where's my finger right there that pink one and i'm gonna put that on the outer corner this fallout i'm not digging it this might end up being a fucking review actually because this is like a lot <sighs> jesus i don't like that Okay, I'm gonna put this on the outer corner and just sweeping that in. No, this is it. I need a bigger brush. Um, yeah, this whole well, situation I'm not again. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so the podcast has been has been great. We've gotten great feedback. 
and All right, I'm gonna stop rambling and shut up because I kind of want to focus on this for a second. I'm gonna put some elevator music because I just I just need to focus real quick. Okay, we're starting to come together, yeah? Then I'm going to go in with a flat shader brush. I'm gonna go in with this. It's weird doing this all over again. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it over here? This one. This pinkish shimmery color. Oh, this might be actually too... Um, let's see how this looks. It's all right. Uh, let's try the finger situation, yeah? Yeah. Way better. It's like foily. Can you see it? It's like... You know what I don't like about the finger thing? Is that now it's all over where I didn't want it to be? But... What can we do, yeah? This fallout business is not good. I don't know if you can see, but there's like shimmering and all this bullshit here. Don't like that. I'm judging you hard, Pure Cosmetics. I'm judging you hard right now. Ooh, this color right here is so pretty. It's like a... It looks purpley here, but it's like dark with like... It's like... It's like black with purple shimmer, but it comes off shimmery here. But it's really cute. Huh. Interesting okay so let me pack on a little bit more of this shimmery thing because it's just not doing what i thought it was going to be doing and i hate that it's here now not happy not a happy camper All right, let's just, let me blend a little bit here. I'm gonna go in again with this pink business. And just, I'm gonna press that into the outer corner, right? To just, I don't know, hopefully it does something. I'm not, I just, I'm not, I'm not digging it. All right, grabbing another small shader brush i'm grabbing a small shader brush this time not another i'm grabbing a small shader brush i'm gonna go in with this shimmery never mind i'm going in with this shimmery one up here i don't know bro it's like i'm not I'm just not digging it and I'm going to put this in the outer corner of my eyes. Alright. It's just it's just what it has to be, right? Because we're already here. We're already done. And honestly, that's pretty much all I'm doing. This is it. This is pretty much it, right? I don't... I don't know. Here, right here. It looks good. I don't, I don't like the way it's like coming up on camera. Hmm. But whatevs. I'm going to do my other eye. Regroup and come back. Alright, so I did both eyes. And I'm sure mad people were screaming at their screen saying, Swipe it on! Because I totally forgot that if you swipe it, somehow it comes out. I think it like just looks better like this one 
looks way better than this one I don't know I I'm a little judgy right now because I was doing this eye and a big chunk of freaking eyeshadow just fell and I was just like bro um I don't know I've used a lot of pure cosmetics palettes before and I've never had one with this much fallout so I'm a little peeved but now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face because I like to do my line at the end bro it's 640 and I still have to go <laughs> okay let me get my life together i am like i said a little more tan than usual because it's summertime in new york and why would i not be enjoying the sun right so this is the Too faced do you full coverage fresh glow foundation in warm sand this is the closest one that kind of goes with my skin right now who is texting me you're going straight to the tater yes i am um this is the closest one that's to my skin tone right now oh i was gonna do something else i was gonna color correct this is the dragon beauty i can't see i'm blind the color corrector one orangey peach um, but I'm going to go ahead and put that around the mouth because those are my trouble areas, yeah? So I'm going to put this here and here, a little bit under the eye, a little bit under the eye, around the nose, here, here. And what is this? This is from Beauty Junkies, a mini tapered kabuki. I'm just going to blend that out. Basically, the color correcting process is to counteract your problem areas, right? Lavender is for dull skin, I think. Peach and this orangey color is for dark areas. So like under the eye, for me, around the mouth. And basically, it just, like I said, it counteracts with the, the problem areas. All right, but so that is done. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with foundation. And for foundation, I am going to use, what am I gonna use? I'm going to use the Flat Top Kabuki by Beauty Junkies. And I put it on my palette here. I put a couple of pumps there. And I'm just gonna go to town. Yeah, so, I don't know if you can tell. Bro, on camera, this looks ridiculous. <laughs> it legit looks ridiculous. But I swear, in real life, it doesn't look like that. It's crazy. So I'm just putting that all over on one half on my face and bringing it down because nobody likes foundation lines yeah um but yeah i've been enjoying my summer as everyone should right i mean obviously we got work and responsibilities but we have to enjoy life because we're not here for long and we just have to make the most of it yeah like you can't um you know, I used to be one of those people that would work all the time and, you know, if, if they let me, I would work seven days a week. But then, you know, I have a child. So then you end up missing time with said child or with your loved ones. And it's just time that you're never going to get back. There's something that you don't get back in this world and it's time. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not here forever. You have to enjoy life while you can why you're able to because life's a bitch and like i said we're not here forever all right so there goes that i'm gonna put this here and i'm gonna go in with some concealer this is the uh the nars concealer in biscuit this is my usual shade but again your girl's tan so it's not the best one so here here
and I'm going to grab a flat foundation brush or precision 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 you ever say a word and you think you're saying it wrong precision 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 foundation brush by crown brush and I'm just gonna tap that I would usually use my sponge to blend out my concealer but I don't have any well I have not clean so and I'm just gonna swipe this to kind of clean up that eyeshadow a bit and I'm just gonna tap 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 and blend out and I'm gonna blend it here a little because you can see that I don't know if you can see it but I can see it that line there and no bueno same thing on the other side I'll be right back all right so I'm gonna go ahead and set the concealer with some setting powder the Fenty Beauty uh, banana pro filter setting powder Ugh. the only complaint I have of this particular setting powder is that it's very um, powdery I know that makes zero sense but it's just it's so like I don't know how to explain it but what the fuck am I doing can't see. What am I doing? Can't see. Um, I don't know if you can see that like powdery, smoky thing coming out, but it's there and it bugs me so much. But I have it, so I have to use it. Not, not, not gonna use it. Now that that is set, I am going to. Spray the crap out of my face with setting spray because it's summer outside and we want to make sure this lasts right it's 652 i gotta hurry the fuck up and this is the milk hydro grip set refresh spray you have to shake it shake it shake it <sighs> wasn't kidding i was literally fan this this fan thing i rec not recently recently in the sense that i i think i got it maybe last year uh yeah i think it was oh i got something in my eye come on um i got it less than two years maybe less than a year i don't remember what the hell is happening uh, and it is a game changer like i used to see girls you know like we watch like makeup videos and stuff and you're like Ugh. What do you need a fan for? Just grab a paper and... But honestly, I like it a lot. Like it's probably one of, one of my favorite things that I own. It's just, it makes it so much easier and you're not like fanning yourself, you know? All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and contour. So what I do is I grab a darker shade of concealer. This is the corrector. Oh no, that's not even it. This is just, oh. Too Faced, Born This Way, Natural Reading Concealer in the color, I don't even know. It's dark and I can't see. And then I'm gonna put that on the, where the hollows of my cheeks would be and here on my temple. And then I am going to grab, oh my God, I can't put this back in. Oh. Then I'm gonna grab the same brush that I did my foundation with because it still has product on it so it can blend out nicely. And I just tap, 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 tap. And tapping, tapping, tapping. Tapping, tapping, tapping. Do you see that? Okay, now I'm going to set that with my contour powder thing. And I'm using the, this is Too Faced as well, I think. Oh no, this is Tarte, sorry. Tarte Park Avenue Princess contour palette thing. This. And I'm gonna grab the darkest shade, or not the darkest, because this one, the darkest shade has like the shimmer. I'm not a fan of that, so I'm grabbing this one that's called Angle. This is like the second one in the thing. Um, I don't like the ones with shimmer, me personally. 
I don't just like blend. I press the powder in because it just to me it just sets it nicer. I don't know. I feel like the times that I have blended it out, I feel like it just moves the product or like I it could be in my fucking head. I don't know, but to me like moves it, moves things and I don't want things moved. I want things to stay where they're supposed to be. We're going to put some on our the our jawline or the bottom of our jawline because um your girl's got a double chin so this kind of helps a little bit so i go from the back of my ear and i bring it this is so hard to do like this i bring yeah like i go from the back of the ear and i bring it down and just blend same idea on this side don't ask me why I do that. It's just how I started doing it and it just has worked out for me, right? I don't know. I'm not I'm not an expert, okay? I just do things how they work for me and they just somehow work. Uh, again, on camera, it doesn't look right, but in the flesh, it makes sense. So, now for... Um, blush i'm using the nyx sweet cheeks blush palette and this is what it looks like so i always lean more towards this one here um there's no again no um no name um but it's the more like subtle one again i have pink eyeshadow on i'm gonna have pink lipstick on like i don't want pink blush on my face you know what i mean so this is more subtle is just the one i use when i'm doing like dramatic shit and i put that up here and i just press 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 all right again grabbing a little more shaking off the thing and putting up here press 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 so that is pretty much the gist right let me finish my eyes should i do a line i kind of don't want to because i feel like a black line would take away from me. i'm just gonna curl my lashes and put mascara on and then let's see how i feel so i'm gonna curl my lashes my lashes bro are straight 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 all right so now going in with my favorite the one and only the only mascara that works for me it's the tarte uh lights camera splashes uh, mascara this is the only mascara that holds my curl no lie i think i think maybe i think benefits um the real ones or some shit like that i think that was one that also worked i don't remember because i've been using this one for so long but this is like the only mascara that really holds my curl um all the other ones just make my lashes fall down you know what i mean just go so yeah actually i think yeah i think we're good with no line Oops, sorry i take the camera i think we're good with no line I think I'm gonna leave just yeah I think a black line would just take away from this and I'm really loving this Ooh, I'm really loving this because it's pink and it's so cute and sparkly okay so for my favorite part of the entire makeup process the lipstick so let me show you oh what a dick bro I forgot that the setting spray is right there <sighs> I tell you. Alright. I'm gonna take this off because it's giving me a fucking headache. Ugh. The bad thing with headbands is that it makes your hair flat. So, first of all, the packaging on this collection was magnificent. So eye catching, so beautiful. I just loved it. I love it. Love it. Love it. To this day, still love it. The eyeshadow palette, I'm kind of not, I don't know, I'm on the fence about it. I gotta try different colors because. I'm not so happy about them but the packaging is amazing so this is the packaging for the lipstick 
it is gorgeous i mean that freaking like ombre glitter thing dope and then look how it opens you press this boop you press it on top and it comes out <sighs> look at that i grabbed the, the just the right one this is called your girl's blind okay uh legendary and let me just show you let me get close look at that effing lipstick bro oh my fucking god it's so cute so that's legendary let me show you the rest this one is called inspire and this is a plum with golden glitter in it Ooh. obviously i never use these like i said i just wanted them so bad and i saved them this one is called i'm pretty sure that says timeless and this one is look like a oh maybe i actually might wear this one this one is like a mauve with golden pinkish no golden shimmer can you see that these fucking lipsticks bro and this one is called classic and this is like another i guess more nude than mauve with golden shimmer now all right, so we have two lip liners. One is from Sephora. One is from OCC, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. I might end up using the Sephora one. Mainly because it's one of the like, rolly up ones. I feel like it'll be smoother. Let me line my lips, yeah? So I like my lips. Yo, this is so pretty. I don't want to use it, but it's just like, come on. Look, it goes with the whole thing. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh. Huh. Wait a minute. There's no shimmer in the actual lipstick. Can you see, uh, wait, oh. I don't know if you can tell. But the shimmer's only on the outside. Come on! Guys! I'm digging this. I mean, it's a beautiful color. Hot pink is always a beautiful color, but I thought there was gonna be shimmer in it. That is whack. Whack, 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 whack. That is um, not what I thought it was gonna be. Okay, I am going to go and get dressed and hopefully have curled my hair and I'll be right back. Okay then, so I had zero time to curl my hair. Again, I cannot stress this enough. Time management is not my forte. One day, hopefully I'll learn, right? but um so i just did a regular ponytail because my sister's waiting for me to pick her up and i gotta go so i have my little barbie shirt on actually i have like three four different shades of pink let me see if i can show you my uh my outfit hold on let me put on my little purse kate spade pink purse hot pink pumps on let me let me try and switch this around so this is the outfit. I don't think you can see the shoes, but these are the shoes. Super cute, hot pink pumps. I mean, it's just, this is an insert that I put. I think these are Steve, no, these are Jessica Simpson. Look at this lens. Uh, these are Jessica Simpson, but so this is basically my outfit. <sighs> maybe I'll insert a picture, maybe hopefully I'll take a good, a good picture, but yeah. So pink purse, pink shirt, pink makeup, pink nails, pink shoes. It's just, I really love pink and this movie just is just like I have to just go all out you know what I'm saying let's bring you back here so I hope you guys enjoyed this video wow I think I'm a little closer than I was before sorry I'm a hot mess um yes um so I'm out to see the movie so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment share subscribe I 
don't know how okay let me see how i can phrase this um this is not gonna be my last video i'll tell you that much i don't know how frequent i'm gonna be able to upload you know with the podcast and just life in general is just it's just hard you know so the stuff that i do upload i hope you guys enjoy it and i hope you are is this my hair loose right here oh, sorry mad random but my hair just i felt like a chunk of hair anyways i hope you guys are living life to the fullest remember we are not here forever make every day count and um i'll see you in my next video bye